Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Janice Edwards and on today's video, I'm going to tell you about my Bearberry trench coat and how I got it clean. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Let's jump right in. So we're going to talk about the Bearberry trench coat. If you have watched my channel any amount of time, you know how much I love Bearberry. So with that being said, what kind of girl would I be without having their staple uh, product from where they started from, the Bearberry trench coat? So mine is the Kensington, which is probably one of the first of the Bearberry trench coats made. They come out with different style silhouettes. And actually down below, I will list uh, some of the different ones that they have in the boutiques. They will come out with some more trendier styles of trench coats because now I think they even make a cropped trench coat, which is chef's kiss, so cute. Uh, but I did decide when I was picking it because they are so expensive to go with the staple, the heritage of the brand by picking a traditional Kensington trench coat. As I said, they come in probably a couple of colors, three I'm thinking, that is on the heritage list, like uh, the tan that you're used to seeing, uh, more of a, a deeper tan. I'm sorry, I don't have the uh, the correct names, but like I said, I'll list them down below, and a black trench coat. And do you have to have a Bearberry trench coat? Of course not. So you don't have to do Bearberry, but the reason that you came to this video today is probably because like me, you like the Bearberry trench coat. So with that being said, when I purchased mine, and I've had it for a little while, so I did want to get it clean, and just a note to self, which I did not really realize is you don't want to be sending your trench coat to the dry cleaners often. If you get a stain of some sort on it, try to spot clean it because you don't want to keep sending it to the dry cleaners and have the dry cleaners clean it and removing the water resistance that's on it. That's what the Bearberry trench coat is known for, the gabardine that it's made for, and the water resistance. But with that being said, you can take your coat back to the Bearberry store, to a boutique, and they can, um, and again, sorry for not having the right terminology, but they can put the water resistance coating back on the coat that will help it last a lot longer so that you can have it for many, many years to come. So, and they can also clean the coat. I was doing a little bit of research here on YouTube and just to kind of see how I wanted to clean it, you know, when the time came. So, I and I've learned a lot of this stuff from here on YouTube and that's how come I'm spreading it on. So when you go to the Bearberry store, I've had some people here on YouTube say you have to have the coat cleaned first. And as a matter of fact, when I called my boutique, and you know you don't get in touch with a person in the store, you kind of talk to somebody that's like a, an operator per se that kind of handles calls. So I didn't get to talk to someone in my particular boutique that I often go to for items. So they did tell me that you would have to get the coat clean first because of course you don't want to add this water resistant coating on top of a coat that needs to be clean. So they did tell me and I've heard some stories of other people here on YouTube that did have to go have their coat clean first, but I went directly to my store and talked to uh, the manager there who told me that they would clean the coat. So if you have a boutique near you, I suggest going into the boutique. So they took my coat and they cleaned it. And they also added the 
um, water resistant coating to my coat. Now, why am I doing this in the middle of summer? Well, it's a good time to take your coat in now because the process does take several weeks. So this is a good time when it's not chilly or at least it's not chilly here in Texas, it's burning up. So you can do without your jacket because it'll take probably close to two to four weeks, two to six weeks actually. Mine probably took a good four weeks to get it back because they don't do it there in the store. They have to send it off to have it done. So that's why it takes a long time. So this is the perfect time perhaps to do it when it's not too rainy and or cold. So that's why I'm coming on in the middle of the heat to tell you to get your coat clean so you won't miss it and it'll be all fresh and ready for the fall and winter season. See? So as I said, I took mine in. It did have a few little spots on it. And like I said, they cleaned it. They returned it in this nice garment bag which I think mine was already in one, but when I took the coat in, of course, I just took the coat. And if I didn't say mine is the Kensington, and see if they returned it so nicely. And as a matter of fact, I haven't even taken it out of the bag here. It's stuffed with tissue paper there in the arms. So I guess this is a really good way to perhaps store it. She's nice and clean and all ready for fall, winter coming up. So just love it. They did an excellent job. Now, I cannot tell you what they would charge because the manager there in the store told me it just depends on how much your coat needs. Again, here on YouTube, I've heard some people tell me they paid upward a couple of hundred dollars to get the coating, you know, added to their coat. And you may say that's a lot of money, but to preserve the quality of the coat for it to look as new because it looked, I thought it looked good at first, but it looked so, so good now. You know, it was cleaned and had the water resistant coating added to it. So take your jacket in, have them check it out. But one thing that I also found out, Bearberry does a complimentary uh, service of doing your jacket for the first time. Now, will they do it times after that? I'm not sure, but I say go in and be super, super nice and just ask because when I went in to inquire about having mine done, not only did they do the coating, but like I said, they cleaned it free of charge. So I paid zero, my favorite price. And got it back and it looks great. So go in, ask your manager there at your store, because that's who I was referred to about dropping mine off. And like I said, he took it, he wrote down or looked me up in the system and found information on me and sent it off and gave me a buzz when the jacket was ready. So good information to have. And this is also excellent information to have if you decide to buy pre-love. You may see a, a trench on the real real or one of the other pre-love websites that is in good condition so that way you can save a lot of money because the boutiques charge $2,500 and up for a beverage trench coat so that is quite a bit expensive you could probably also find them in some of your beverage outlets I've seen a few you can't really you know get the pick of the litter in the outlets because you kind of get what you get so i would say again check the real real and some some of the other um pre-love websites so you can kind kind of find exactly what you're looking for being that they have the different uh 
shades of the tan, the black, whether you want oversized or fitted. So there's so, so many to choose from. But before even going to the Real Real or any of the other websites, I highly, highly, highly recommend going into the boutique and just trying them on because I did not know which one I wanted. I didn't know if I wanted a more fitted one and that was probably my goal. But after thinking about it, I end up getting the classic fit with just the Kensington in order to wear, be able to wear more bulky sweaters under it, um, hoodies and things of that nature. Mine is uh, knee length because I didn't want a real, real long one and I didn't want a short one. So go in, see what fits your lifestyle and your style before going on to a pre-loved website because there'll be so many and you won't really know. And again, if you're able to try them on, then you get a better idea of exactly what you want. So check out Bearberry trench coats and don't forget to go in even if you buy them pre-loved, you may or may not have to pay to have them cleaned and have it, um, I think they may even call it resurfaced. I'm not real sure, but it's adding more of the water resistance to the coat is what they're doing. And I think the terminology is resurfacing. Don't hold me to that. But again, I will leave the different styles down below and let me know your thoughts on very trench coats and things how you've had yours cleaned in the past and some do's and don'ts and i will see you guys on the next video bye guys hey guys i forgot to tell you if you hadn't already please subscribe push the like button and share the video and have a great week bye